Good evening, everyone. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andres. Hi, welcome evening. back. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let me say hi, Doris. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Jocelyn, good evening. David. Good and evening, Lord, teacher. William, William, he's there. Good evening. Hi, good evening to all of you. Okay. Tell me about your day. How was your day? What did you do? Are we all waiting for vacation time? Or not really? Yes, we're waiting. Yeah, right, we are. Yes, we all are. Sí, chicos. Ya casi, ya casi. Tomorrow is the last class from this week. And after that week off, we still have six pending classes, right? So we can conclude with this module as well. Okay, hoy no quiero olvidar pasar la asistencia. So that's why I'm going to be waiting for you guys. I'm going to give you like five extra minutes. So after that, I'm going to be checking the attendance list. Great. Well, what's the topic from yesterday? Well, we have been talking about the same topic in class number 16 and 17. But what's the topic about? What do you remember about the topic? We were talking about uh, gerunds and infinitives. Great. Gerunds, infinitives. Excellent. And the activity yesterday, as you may remember, we had this uh, composition activity using gerunds and infinitives. So let me ask you, did you finish with that activity? Yes, yes, to write the paragraph. Mm -hmm, I, exactly. Yes. You did, David. I, I did it, yes. Who else? Me too. Me too. I, I finished. Okay, Genesis. Me too, teacher. With Andres. Stories. Excellent. So let me go and check the platform. Okay, aquí vamos. Yes. Oh, yeah. Aquí están ya las composiciones. Now I can see. It says five, six, seven different compositions. Vamos a ver qué tenemos acá. Let's see. The first one that I have here, Telma, Telma, but I guess she's not in the class. Right? Or is she already? She's not here, right? No. So, Lourdes, no, it's a William and Harvey. So, do I have William? Is William there? Is Harvey there? So, you can read about this activity and what you were writing about. Let me see. Cuando comparto pantalla no puedo ver a todos. Solo veo como tres. Let me see. Okay, yeah. William, he's already in the class, but he's not there. Let's look for another one. Jasmine. 
Is Jasmine in the class already? I'm here. Okay, so Jasmine, please. Yeah. Hmm? Read about the, your composition so we can listen to it. So I should just read it? Yeah, just read it. So we can, uh, because remember, what was the main topic or what we were trying to express by writing this? About the type of work that we're best at. Okay, so yeah, let us know about that. Okay. Uh, well, I should I just read what I wrote? Yeah. Okay. What well, type of work I am best at? So, of the jobs that I've had throughout my working time, and including the current job I have, okay. is that I'm best at information tracking. So, I have to search for resources of information of different processes and keep track of how they evolve and develop from the beginning to the end. Um, that also includes this job and some previous jobs I've had as well. I need to have records of all invoices that I have made to customers and made the backup with the information already on hand and incoming reports. This activity requires working with other people to solve problems and creating files and reports for customers. I also have to compare the work assigned by customers and the result delivered to the customer at a given time. And this job uh, has a lot of responsibility, mostly because I am in charge of keeping track and records of money and expenses. Okay, money and expenses. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, class, what did you get? Let me ask you about Jasmine. What is the type of work she's best at? Without reading the information, were you paying attention? Did you get or what did you get about that information? Sorry, I was trying to connect my computer. I, I didn't pay attention. Sorry. Don't you worry. I still have some other students who can participate. Doris. Hey, uh, I I think she likes helping other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> information tracking, right? That's what she was expressing. Information tracking. And she was mentioning that she has been doing uh, this type of uh, activities, right? In her previous jobs and the ones that, okay. that she's in this moment. Yeah. Vamos a ver. So yeah, please. Yeah. Vamos a ver quién más tenemos, Doris and Andres. Mm -hmm. Who is going to read about this information? Is it you, Doris, or Andres? Uh, between two, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. Helping people. I always like to help younger people or new or new employees in, the, in their duties. For me, it's very important to be methodic and having all the documentation in order in my office. Okay. I like to work efficiently and do my best at my job. I love solving problems and I enjoy learning about new clouds. I have to be loyal, reliable, and honest because okay. I bought a accountant and I handle confidential information about my clients. My job requires to be accurate because accurate. 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 Because, accurate because my clients need the detailed and correct information for making decisions in their business. I like having good relationship with the client's assistant to have better results. Okay. Mm -hmm. Efficiently. Efficient. Okay. Efficient. Efficiently. Efficiently. Mm -hmm. Reliable and honest. Yeah. Reliable. Real, reliable, reliable and honest. And 
accurate. 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 Uh -huh. And results. Results. Okay. Helping mm -hmm. people. I always like to help younger people, all new employees. Wow, interesting. Class, let me ask you about Doris and Andres' composition. What are they best at? What do they like to do or what is what they really enjoy doing? Lourdes, what did you get from that? Uh, from what was she reading? <clears throat> uh, I understood that she likes to, to help new employees. Mm -hmm. That she works with accountants, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she has to be very careful with information she, she handles because it's like very important and confidential. Let's see. Exactly. And at the end, she's expressing, or they were expressing, I like having good relationships with the client's assistant. So, to have better results. Muy bien, muy buen uso de los gerunds and infinitives. Genesis, Janari, and Madeline. Girls, who is the one who is going to be reading about this information? And the rest of you, please pay close attention to that information. I can read it. Go, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, being an architect is something I really enjoy. And ever since I was in high school, I dreamed about designing spaces that would make people feel comfortable. This job requires to work as part of a team, which is super important because as a team, we can brainstorm more, much more interesting ideas. I've always thought that it that it is super important to be loyal to your own ideas, but sometimes it is important to be open to different thoughts in order to make good decisions, especially since designing requires to come up with something new every time. In my career, I haven't had the chance to incorporate using my language skills since I am currently based only in my country of Salvador but I'm hoping to expand my work to different countries in the future. I also have had the opportunity to use my own hands since construction requires you to get involved directly in order to be able to fix what you've already built, which demands that you are accurate and thorough. These, in my opinion, are the characteristics necessary to be a leader who also has to be conscious about his or her responsibilities especially in order to solve problems while making sure the job is correct by using systematic procedures. We try to use all of the phrases, all of the sentences. Yeah, right. This is what I have been noticing, right? You were trying to use all of the expressions, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting class. Let me ask you about Genesis because this is about you, right? Even though Mark yeah. was helping and Janari as well. So this is information about you right yeah. yeah class what is she planning to do in the future she wants to go abroad okay she wants to work in other countries other countries in other countries or different countries excellent different. interesting uh -huh. there we go mm -hmm. let me have another one Okay. Take a look at this one. Okay, the Galda, who's this? Let me check. Galdames, 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 David. It's David. David, it's David, yeah. Recorde, Galdames, he's Galdames. So, David, let us know about yeah. your information. Yes. Okay. Uh... Uh, I think I'm good on healthy people. In fact, I decided to study engineering because it's focused solving problems. Maybe for that reason, I become a teacher because in teaching, you are helping boys and girls not only to solve problems, not only to get knowledge, but finding themselves and focusing their lives in whatever they want to do in life. 
But you can solve a problem in a laboratory condition like the classroom. You can go to life with an attitude that there is a solution to every issue you will find in your life. Maybe you can find a solution by yourself. Maybe you need to get some help. Maybe you need to get more understanding or knowledge, but there is a solution and whatever is needed to find the solution, the student will be prepared for finding. There we go. Class, let me ask you about his information. He was expressing, maybe for that reason, I became a teacher. Why? What is the main reason? Because he likes to help them solve their problems. Uh-huh. Okay, but there's, well, there's another reason there. The first one that he was mentioning at the beginning of the, the composition of the paragraph. To help them find themselves, mm -hmm. to focus their lives on whatever they want to do. Okay, yeah. There we go. Because he's good at helping people. In this case, helping people uh, whenever they have or, or trying to solve some problem. Very good job. Jocelyn and Madeline. Ah, what is this about? No, right. I guess this is another information. ¿Qué es esto, chicos? The company. Oh, no. This is the previous activity, right? The one that yeah. we were having on Tuesday, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I'm still missing. Some of you didn't uh, paste that information in the platform. ¿Qué pasó? You didn't have time to finish or what? What happened? Rhyme. Mm -hmm. Rhythm. Rhythm. Class. Okay, do not forget to do that, please. You can do that later on. Okay, interesting and great information. But we really need to move on and what is the topic? that we're going to present in this class, class number 18. The objective of corporate social responsibility. Have you ever heard about this topic, the CSR? CSR or corporate social responsibility. What do you know about this? ¿Quién ha escuchado de esto? Uh -huh. Not really? Tienen información de esto, no? Mm, not really, no. Not really, so, not really. So that's interesting. Take a look at this. Let's start by doing this. Let's have this um, discussion. Okay, Fernando, can you read what we have here? Okay. Uh, it takes. 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin, to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently, Warren Buffett. Okay, once again, please. <clears throat> it, takes, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. Ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. Warren Buffett. Okay, this is a quote. Warren Buffett. It takes 20 years to build a reputation in five minutes <laughs> to ruin it. If you think about that, you do things differently. What is your opinion about this? That is totally true, teacher. Okay, why? Is the is the in many in many situations, if you are a company owner, you mm -hmm. need to be careful about what you do, about how do you do the things. The more famous you become, the more care you need to to have in, in, in the things you do. In the time of the social media, mm -hmm. 
if somebody find a, a cockroach in a, 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 a plate or a, a meal, it, uh, it go viral. <laughs> if you find something uh, bad in, in the product you buy, uh, this is uh, something that the, the, the social media is uh, um, ruining the reputation of a company if they don't do nothing but to correct the thing. Okay. And uh, for that reason, it's important to be careful. Be careful. So if I ask you, okay, can you give me a definition? Reputation, what is that? What do you know about that? Or how can you express in simple words about this? How the people see you? How people see you? See you okay. as a, a professional? At a, as a professional, uh huh? Or as a, a company? As a, we know a, a lot of company that have a bad reputation in service like uh, Telefonicas or Paitigo, Claro. There are problems mm -hmm. with the service that they give. And uh, something like that. Okay. Interesting. Any other? What is a short definition about this reputation? ¿Qué será eso? Maybe it's the image. Uh -huh. Once again, please. Who was it? Fernando. No. I start, but I think Hennessy is it's going to talk about it. So <laughs> we spoke okay. at the same time. Yeah, right. uh, so, yeah I didn't know. So let's do something. Fine. Levanten su Fine. mano para participar. Like, ¿a dónde están las reacciones? Right? Raise your hand. Levantar la mano. We have like an option there. Uh -huh. So in that way, I'm going to know who's ready to participate. <coughs> okay, Fernando, go ahead. Okay, maybe it's the image that you, you project to the other people. Okay, the as, image. As a professional, as a person, maybe it's when when the people see you, it, what is the first thing on his head or her head or their head when they see you? Okay, it's the image that we project, Genesis. And I was gonna say that, uh... It is like your the cred credibility when you if you do things right, people is going to uh, have that idea about you that you are a rightful person. Mm -hmm. And but if you uh, do something wrong just once or do something fraudulent once, then that's how people is uh, are gonna see you for from now on. Okay, so we can say that. Um, reputation we can describe this as a bad and good reputation right yes, yes. Yeah? Yes, yes okay so in your case what is your opinion about yourself <laughs> is it good bad or have you ever had those experiences well it, it all depends teacher in the, in the eyes of the students, oh, okay. the bad students, you have you have bad You're reputation. a bad teacher, right? <laughs> you are the ugly. <laughs> it depends, right? Yes, yes. It depends who is looking you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. Why, sorry? Why? In the, in the other people or myself, I have a... a, a uh, behaviors and pre uh, behaviors or ideas the was the one person we could be but uh, I my behavior is different than other, other people or other person and for for other person, I have I have a bad reputation or for other person different. 
I I have a good reputation. Okay, so similar to what David was expressing, right? Yeah. So for yeah. some people, right? It depends on who is giving an opinion about you, right? Yes. Bad or good reputation. So does this happen uh, with companies or specific uh, places or what have you heard about reputation? Or can you give me some examples about reputation, bad or good? Um, it's like when you have a reference, reference. Uh, by reviews, about a company service or a person like um for example that um usually the for example el hospital rosales doesn't have a good reputation right mm -hmm. uh anyone can go there from homeless people to someone that got in an accident not to necessarily have the best service or treatment available so it Reputation is what someone or somebody is known for, okay. I guess. So in this case, yes, we're talking about a specific place, the hospital. So does this play have like this bad reputation because of people who work there or because of uh, the place itself? A bit of both because- Okay, let me know about that. I mean, the structure is very old. It hasn't been updated uh, okay. in the early 90s, 1900s. Um, doesn't have all the equipment required. It gets flooded when it rains. Yeah. It's filled with rats. It fills with pigeons and, and cockroaches. And it has, um, it doesn't have all the equipment required. It doesn't have all the bits required. It doesn't have all the stuff required. The stuff that they do have is either burnt out, are complete jerks, and they don't treat you well, mm -hmm. such as the nurses. And the poor interns and residents are the ones who have to do all the job because the actual doctor almost never arrives. <laughs> <coughs> yes, yeah, right. I, I, I had a, a very, very good experience in the Hospital Rosales. Because my my yeah. little girl, my 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 little daughter uh, has a, a something bad in his in his mouth in in her mouth. Uh, he was something like a tumor, and and, and she needed she need an, an uh, operation, a, a very complicated operation, surgery. Surgery, yeah. And. Uh, 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 there was a team of, of 12 people, 12 people, somebody is eating now, but <laughs> you see, <laughs> they needed an, a, a surgery, uh, uh, there was a, a team of 12 people because the, the, the tumor was, uh, uh, it's not what solid, it's something that the waters, uh, Algo liquido. I don't know how to say that. And if uh, the the they was in a bag in a, in a, a, a kind of bag, and they need to subtract the bag from her mouth. And uh, if something go wrong, if the bag uh, break, the other thing will really need to go into the action and and do the operation. This was for about twelve hours the operation. And uh, there was um, many people, many equipment, and it was a very, very good job, uh, an excellent job. And the girl is uh, is okay. Uh, uh, all the people work in the optimal condition, and in a, a, one day they go, they my my girl she went out to the hospital because he was good. It was an, an excellent work, a team oh, work, so, something extraordinary. Okay, so yeah, she needed like this surgery, right? So yes. you see, yeah, he has a different opinion about this place. 
because of the experience, right? He lived with his daughter. So, yeah, I do agree with that. It depends on who is giving the opinion or it depends on, yeah, right, the experiences that we have had in this place or with people. Okay. Before we go and I tell you about the first activity that we're going to have, because it's going to be a, a group discussion, right? I really need to get to go and check the attendance list. But let me see. Okay. Let me see. Where is it? Okay, aquí estamos. So please say here or present. Here we go. Andrés, Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. Present. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velasco. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Very good. Okay, so um, reputation. Vamos a ver. Let's finish with this idea. It takes 20 years to build, para construir, but it takes five minutes to ruin it. Será cierto, cinco minutos nada más. But come yeah. on, we have been working, you know, in this company for uh, more than 20 years. So how come that we are going to, uh, you know, lose or uh, or do just a single action, you know, and we're going to ruin it in five minutes. Como? Como pasa eso? Is that possible? Well, yes. you can take Johnny Depp's case, for example. It was very famous, like good reputation. And then Amber Heard came in in less than five minutes, bam, he had no job. He had no job, right, exactly. So, what do I need to discuss about? Five different questions because number six, we are going to have this one. How does CSR improve company reputation for um, at the end of the class, we're gonna be discussing about this one, number six. So as you may see, five different questions. Please go discuss about these questions. And after that, we are going to um make like a conclusion right so you can be ready to express about these ideas number let me see 
Janari, can you read the questions that we have there? Five different questions. Okay, Janari is not there. Thelma, please. Read the questions that we are going to be discussing. Okay, all the all the yeah, okay. from one to five. Okay. Number one. What does it mean to lose your reputation? Number two. What makes a bad reputation? Number three. How do you lose your reputation? Number four. What does bad reputation lead to? Number five, um, what a thing can you do to build up a ruined reputation so people forget what happened to ruin it? Okay, what are the things? Numbers. Can... Number six, huh? just from one to five. Okay. You know yeah. what, what came to my mind? Do you remember about Will Smith? The grand Will Smith. Yeah. What happened to him? <laughs> A very famous actor, you know, with so great movie. And what in happened? To... And it, it, it wasn't cool. in five minutes. No pasó en cinco minutos. Creo que fue menos. Menos tiempo, right? Like one minute, I guess. <laughs> Imagine, yes, right? Great example. Bayan. Conversen de eso tiene mucho que ver con el CSR. You are going to find about this information later on. What is that? Que tiene que ver con las companies and even big companies, they can lose a reputation in, yes, just because of an action, right? Or a bad uh, decision. Let me send this information here in this chat. And also, I'm going to be sending this picture to WhatsApp. Flip right. The big companies and the government look for an scapegoat to, to avoid the mm -hmm. bad reputation to the company yeah. or to the enterprise or to the government. And you get only one man, one person only that shares with all of the situation mm -hmm. yeah politicians especially yes politicians and companies do presidents right a todos les puede pasar dice. <laughs> aquí vamos they, they look for for somebody to to cherish the the fault and not all the company only one person this is the skateboard. Okay. Okay. Let me give you 10 or no, not really. 15 minutes. So you can go ahead and discuss about this information. Here we go. Okay. Okay, go class. Two and three, teacher. Two and three. I am in the room two and the room three. Okay, go to room number three. Okay, thank you. Okay, Doris, are you having the same issue? I guess, right.
So that's, I think that's what what the first one will mean that when you lose your reputation. I mean, since your reputation is what uh, people know you for, if you lose it, it uh, mean, means you lose the public's trust and that you don't, I mean, you're not well received or perceived by people around you. So what makes a bad reputation? Um, so I think that would be like, uh, you have, uh, you, for example, if you're a business, you don't give the customer what they want to the, the service they're paying for. Or for example, if you have a lot of mistakes when you deliver a service or when you deliver, or even when you, um, when you are that kind of store that brings things from overseas, como las, las tiendas de, de encargar cosas de fuera, como los productos chinos y cosas así. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of issues and, um, and you have um, not so great prices and such. I mean, you have a bad reputation because you are not the best choice to get something or to achieve something. So like you're like the desperate choice, like out of one to 10, uh, you're not precisely the top 10. I think, yeah, I think you could get a um, better reputation mostly when you sell things online. Yeah. And other clients uh, say, no, that accountant uh, is not that. It's not good. Uh -huh. Confidence, uh -huh. I lost my future client. Yeah. Uh -huh. And my, my, I, I don't receive some money on my, on my fees. Uh, yeah. I lost my, I lost my fees too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true because the, the client do not, do not have more to opportunity for, for maybe do other work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lost, you lost your, the your loss uh, or we lost uh, the client for that reason yes okay uh, what makes a bad reputation mm. well i think that they make a uh, a work a, a good work uh for example in your case obviously you you need to to have a, a exactly contability in some case uh -huh. or in, in whatever case. In my, in my case, you, uh, for example, if the taxes uh, the 9% is, is wrong, or mm -hmm. uh, uh, I try to, to make us benefit uh, to my client for say it, an example, uh, uh, some client maybe say me ah, that accountant is really good because I I didn't pay much uh, taxes, for example. Yeah. But in, in other case, uh, some clients or future clients maybe say no, I I I don't believe it in that accountant because mm -hmm. I don't know if. Who were you working with? I was working with uh the no uh, with David with David and and Telma but David I, and David and Telma okay rule number three vamos a ver yeah thank you go please thanks thanks.
person that I know. Uh -huh. but, yes. yes, because he makes her life easier. <laughs> yes, yes, it's, really. it's, it's weird. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, but maybe uh, you can say that someone has a bad reputation with a lot of people agree with that. Um, mm -hmm. Because maybe it's not true what they say or they think, but if everyone says or, or talks about it, that's what a reputation is, right? It's like a public concept about you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if it's true or it's a lie. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. The okay. third one says, how do you lose your reputation? How do you lose maybe with your attitude or the, the thing that, I, that you do in, by, in bad way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it depends on, on it, it, there might be very, or a lot of ways you can lose your reputation. As we were saying, maybe someone spread a gossip about you. <laughs> you didn't say anything, you didn't do anything, but it, but it happened. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's, you can lose your reputation about what you say uh, or one thing someone saw you doing. Maybe someone saw you <laughs> taking a pencil <laughs> or something. <laughs> And okay. then you, you become a, a thief. <laughs> yes, for example, you lose your reputation. if not depend about you. And most of the of, of the time is depend to another person that is talking about you or the company. Mm -hmm. Because it's yeah. like you said, not, not everyone has the same experience. Mm -hmm. Seguridad informática. Teacher, we have a question. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, CSR is about the uh, company security online. Uh, no, it's like a social responsibility. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's different because corporate, CSR is <laughs> corporate social responsibility. <laughs> okay. La responsabilidad como social que tenemos. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, es que es lo mismo también ¿En para serio? los que traen los certificados de... Usted ve un candadito siempre cuando ve una web y que seguro para Ajá. usted, entonces aparece un, una metadata que es como el nombre de la compañía, quién pertenece, entonces ese es un CSR de, es un de CSR. seguridad. Ok. So, no, no, really. Pero igual, Fernando nos puede dar una clase de CSR. No, not, no, right? ese no tiene nada que ver aquí. <ríe> All right, so that's probably the same, um, ¿cómo se llama las iniciales? But it's not the same. I guess okay. it's the So, yeah, interesting. So, uh, did you finish discussing or not? Almost. Okay, go ahead, continue. How can you do your question? What there are things can you do build? Of organizations so people forget what happened to the yeah. oh. ¿Qué tres cosas puede, puede para qué, qué tres cosas puedes hacer para, para arruinar una reputación? Ah, no, ¿qué puedes hacer para cuando se arruina como que la persona arruina la reputación y que para que las personas puedan olvidarlo que lo hiciste? Okay. It's difficult, bueno, okay. De que hay en el trabajo. Yeah, we're well, talking about the, the kind of job that I have. Uh, <laughs> about they, they used to joking really, really hard. And one day the men say something about the girl, something and not so good. Okay. She go to him. She goes to. She went to human resources. Okay. And uh, a claim. She submitted a no. claim about the guy, and the guy was fired. Mm -hmm. But ah. what happened here? The guy was fired, and he was really good at, at his job. He do it. Oh. He used to do the his job perfectly. 
and the girls too. But in the in this case, uh, what happened here? The girl, everybody knows that she used to job really, really hard. You know what I mean? Okay. And back wars and job with ah, okay. boys. Okay. Uh, she didn't have friends when that happened. Nobody uh, talks to her, believe me. Oh, and also of... she got depression. Also she got a, a really bad depression, a really big depression. And she was, she used to, she went to vacation for a month, believe me, because nobody talks to her. A few days later, she quit because she doesn't feel really good. I guess right. and this is a kind of example that about reputation because everybody knows that she used to job and she made what she did yes. with the last co-worker. Yes. Uh, yes, maybe your your ex coworker uh, she didn't she shouldn't have uh, done that because uh, well, uh, maybe because. she is right, but maybe she can speak with him and she she could speak with him and maybe hey, uh, I don't like it that are you joking with me or, or something like that and maybe avoid this <laughs> this problem but i don't know how, how or maybe how the your your ex coworker uh, express about her maybe was very very bad and that very is because rude, probably or very rude yes yeah but it, it's very difficult because it, it, i think yes. people always remember the bad things about you and the the good things that is for uh, are for for getting very faster faster yeah than that's so it. true you know in a company in any type of relationship that mean we may have even with family right they tend to remember your mistakes but not uh, you know the good actions that you have done previous right Yes. I don't know, but this is like a very yeah, common that, human behavior. Yeah, it, yes, it, it happens really frequently in every company, but uh, well, not all the people made what that girl did. Yeah, to exactly. the human resources. Yes. Yeah. Everybody I can know. stop and can mention, please don't jog with me in that kind and using that kind of word or something. But in this case, teacher, she never, she couldn't build up his re reputation really? again so imagine nobody wanted to approach her talk to her you know uh, so yeah it was like a bad consequence at the end because she felt so bad that she even had to quit to move to another job you know because she couldn't handle the situation anymore so that's really yeah, sad so... really sad yeah her reputation uh, yeah, yeah. It's a very yes, even her best friend. I remember that uh, she didn't talk to her. Yes, and she they, tried to. They were to, best uh, friends before before uh, that. Problem. No, she got she got another friend that was ah, a girl. Okay. Yes, ah, okay. because remember in center industry we have a team. When the, yeah. when we should sit in the team okay. that we are, and yeah. we can have a best friend in another team, but we cannot sit to her or to him. Uh -huh. We need to sit in the place that the team is. Uh, they were co-workers. They were in the same thing and this happened. And the girl didn't talk to her any anymore. The her last best friend because for the things that she made. But I guess was not really bad for the girl. I feel sad for her. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, because probably that was not like the correct way of handle in this situation no fue la manera correcta it take us to you know go back and what have, we have been discussing about ethics right and ethical behavior creo que ahí pasó todo they eh, they were not supposed to be doing those type of comments or joking around with those kind of you know eh, expressions probably so that's why they didn't like set like a limit and it goes worse in the end. Qué fea situación, pero muy buen ejemplo, Justin. Great example. 
So, but that was an example. Ahora preguntemos, pongamos ese specific scenario. En el caso de ella, what are three things that she eh, could have eh, done to build up her reputation? Think about In this that. Can, I guess nothing because the, the boy he affect was not there. Okay, he maybe tried to apologize, uh, but it will be not the same because uh, uh, I guess that was not necessary to offer an apology for the other people or mention uh, accept his her mistake because the last boy was uh, not there. I don't know and, how the, the, the teams works, but maybe she she could ask for a, a change in another team, maybe mm -hmm. with different people. Or another account. I don't know how the, 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 the call center works. Yes. Yes, it's a good idea. Okay. What happened to you guys? Uh, <laughs> we, we finished it. <laughs> you finished. Okay. okay, tell me, did you bring some examples, you know, to the discussion that you can share? Yes, uh, okay. one, one of the example uh, was that when somebody drinks alcohol or beers ah, okay. and, and the news uh, have a, and you are in the news. Yeah, <laughs> right. Everybody, know, everybody knows about. Exactly, right. Mm -hmm. It is very hard even, well, and mostly for people who are in social media or that their job is to get involved, you know, with people and they are like a, a figure, una figura pública, right? A public figure. Yes, yeah, it's like... very hard. I still remember about some news reporters. Un comentario hacen, right? Y ya no se nos olvida. For example, <laughs> what do you think about Moisés Urbina? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He has he, a bad reputation because of sometimes, you know, es problema del clima, no es su culpa, right? Uh -huh. Pero también And, le han varias cosas. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> yes, for example, when Ernesto López. Ernesto López, uh -huh. was another one. Uh -huh. This guy from <laughs> Canal 21, right? Mega Noticias, yes. I don't know. The same. Uh -huh. So, así o me hicía. Muy mala reputación. But, you know, we need a second chance. So, what are your recommendations? What can we do to build up a bad reputation? So people can have a different opinion about us. What can yes. we do? It's like very that? difficult. Very difficult because uh, not everybody has the same opinion about you. Okay. But but uh, we have to be careful in our lives yes to try to have a good reputation i know right so it is very hard i know yes because people or we tend to remember about the bad behavior of a person or mistakes from people but not good actions that probably they have done in the past, right? We are like this. We human beings are like this, right? Yes. So even though you want to regret about the situation, try to change it, apologize, it won't work, right? Because people will keep on uh, telling the same stuff about you. So it's very hard, you know? So yeah, interesting discussion. I guess it's time to go back. Let's go back and listen to what your classmates need to express, okay? Okay, teacher. Hi, Diego, are you there? Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Okay, time to come back. Okay. 
Okay, let me listen about your opinion. But let me pick some volunteers. Just give me a second, okay? Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros. Okay, let's do something different because sometimes if I say, do I have volunteers? You don't really like to participate. So let's do this. Take a look at this. Okay, no, 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 no. Vamos a hacerlo por sorteo, right? I'm gonna be picking one volunteer so they can express about, okay, David no está ahí, I guess he's not there. Here we go. So once again, let me see who's the first one. Okay, Genesis, you're the first one. <laughs> okay. La ganadora, the winner. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, so let me know about the first one. Let me show you the first question that we have there. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Read the question and let me know about what you were discussing with your friends. Okay, what does it mean to lose your reputation? So we were talking about how uh, it is when, well, when we say losing a reputation, reputation can be good reputation or bad reputation. But when you say losing re your reputation, you most likely uh, mean that now you have a bad reputation, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, and having a bad reputation or losing it uh, means that people stop believing in you and that, or that they will have uh, an idea of you based on the behavior or the mistake or the attitude that you had for them to think uh, that about yourself. So th that's what they are going to see you as from now on. So yeah. that's what we were talking about, what it means to lose your reputation, that now they will see you as just one, that, that one thing for now on, from now on. Okay, so people's opinion is not going to be the same. Same question. Here we go. Let me see who is the last one. Okay. Praise. Ganadores praise. Here we go. Same question. What does it mean to lose your reputation? To lose your reputation is to lose your credibility or not. What actually you're selling or the service you're doing. Wow, I really like that word. Losing your credibility. Interesting. Yes, right? This is the first thing that we lose credibility. Number two, what makes a bad reputation? Let me have two volunteers. The first one. Here we go. is the first one who's gonna participate. Francisco, Francisco, tell me about this. What makes a bad reputation? The number two? Yeah, please. Uh, well, I, Janari and me, we are talking about this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Janari said that uh, what Mm, what point in, in in this case is obviously may because he 
she is a contact. Mm -hmm. If he do a bad work, obviously he he lost his reputation. Um, did it, uh, this is a point for 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 have a, a, a bad reputation because uh -huh. he she don't not a uh, good his work. Um, other person maybe can be to to make some comment with other person. Um, All right. You don't recommend. Mm -hmm. she, th these people won't recommend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we can apply this to personal life because uh, she is working as an accountant in its case. Si, digamos se equivoca, right? Para la declaración de la renta. So, you know, she eh, or people may think that she did a bad job. You no, know? so she will have like this bad recommendation or probably the, her clients are not going to come back, you know, because they are going to yes. think that, you know, they may yes, look because... for somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. For some issues. Because of those issues, interesting. Mm -hmm. What makes a bad reputation? Let me have another one. Here we go. Once again, well, ya participó, another one. Okay, Harvey, same question. Okay, teacher, I think, for example, it's like Freddy says, you lose your credibility and no one going to trust in you okay. when you make a bad reputation. Lose credibility, interesting. How do you lose your reputation? I guess it's similar, right? By doing a bad, uh, in this case, if we talk about our personal job or no sé, algo que hagamos mal, right? So how do you lose your reputation? Let me have two volunteers. The first one is going to be Kenya. And the other one, question number three, Kenya and Janari. Kenya and Janari, okay? Let me know about your opinion. How do you lose your reputation? Go please. I think of being irresponsible being late to work or talking about other people being um, or doing a, a bit try. Yeah, that, that could make you a bad reputation. Okay. Being lazy, right? Being late, not really wanting to come on time to any type of meeting. So yeah, excellent, Kenya. Janari, what is your opinion about this one? How do you lose your reputation? Uh, I, I think it's, it's similar to the, the second question, teacher. Uh, maybe you, you, you do uh, bad your job, for example, mm -hmm. or um, if, um is it, 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 it more i we have um most thing that we we all we lost the reputation uh, for example if if the tax i don't know how can i say malversation de fondos for example I don't know how can I say it, Tisha. Malversation de fondos. Malversation de fondos. Okay, let me uh -huh. look for an idea. Okay. So keep on. 
Dialectical person. Ajá, ajá. Dialectical person. For example, um, you, you take money, for example, of the government. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Money of the government uh, uh, for personal things. Okay. For example, personal uh, I give uh, other uh, people uh, show uh, that the people um, take that money. Uh, obviously, uh, I don't know how to say, van a demandar uh, for, for malversation de fondos, for example. I think uh, that that thing, uh, you lose the reputation. So yes, the same as we were expressing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Había una expresión, but I don't really remember about this one, malversación de fondos. But mm -hmm. yes, this is what you were expressing. Yeah, you're right, exactly, mm -hmm. right? Pasa casi siempre con los politicians and even, you know, when people find about this type of actions, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really care, you know. It's really common. <laughs> it's very common, right, in El Salvador. Even nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> we can say that. So yeah. interesting. So in this case, you already know how to lose your reputation. So what does bad reputation lead to? I cannot give Personal and let's talk about companies. ¿Qué pasa con it? Here we go. Two volunteers in order to express what they think about this. Praise, ya participó. Let's pick another one. Okay, Lourdes, you're gonna be the first one and the other one. Madeline. Lourdes and Madeline. Go girls. Number four. Uh, well, maybe we can say it in what word and his problems. <laughs> uh, a job maybe seems from, from um, having a, a discussion to lose your job. And for a corporation, maybe it's to lose clients and to close business. Maybe it's, it's, it depends on how or what happened, but about reputation leads you to, to having issues with people. Exactly. Having issues with people, excellent. Okay, what else can you say about this in number four? Who was the other one? <clears throat> It was lower this and who else? Quien fue el que salió, vamos a ver. Madeline. Madeline, let me look for her. I guess she's not in the class, right? Madeline, no. So let's pick another one. Okay, same same question. Okay, William. Number four, William. Mm, I think like um, Lourdes, and you lose money because uh, you lost cli clients. And that is not positive for you and your company. Maybe you have to close your your company. Okay. So I don't know if who was it who was telling me about this clear example. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, where right? Can you share your experience, Jocelyn, with your or with this girl? What happened to the girl that you were expressing when we were working in teams? 
Mm, well, okay, teacher. Well, in the company that I work, it happened something really bad that a uh, two co-working, a lady and a boy, uh, they used to jog really, really hard. Uh, one day, uh, the boy mentioned something about the girl and she was really uh, upset with him. So she submitted a claim with human resources and the girl was fired the second day. Even he used to make his job perfectly. But in this case, uh, what happened here that the lady, uh, everybody knows that she used to jog with him. So nobody talks to her anymore. And she got a depression. Even she went to vacation for a month and when she come back, she, uh, she quit because she doesn't feel really, really good there. Even she didn't make her ending process with the company. She just come back and mention, I will go. So imagine, you no, know, this is a yeah, situation that probably nobody would really like to face, right? Because supposedly they were friends, right? Because they have like this type of, um, como le llamamos? Tenían esta confianza, right? To be like joking in this way. So at the end, I don't know what happened to her. Probably she didn't like what he said. So this guy got fired. So who was the one affected in the end? It was this girl or this guy? Because he probably got another job, right? But in this case with this girl, she stayed there but nobody wants to talk to her anymore. Imagine, what would you do in that situation, guys? Would you still like uh, keep that job or try to move and look for another one because of that bad reputation? What would you do? Well, if I felt uncomfortable, then I would have left as well, I guess. Okay. So what if you really liked your job, you're making good money there, and you don't really want to quit? So well, what are three things that yeah. you can do to build up your reputation? So probably she could have uh, admitted that she was wrong, and that what she did was not okay and she should have talked to that to her co-workers about that i don't know probably what else number five this is for everyone bring some ideas in your case if you were facing that situation okay ¿Qué más hubieran hecho? Apart from um, <coughs> apologizing and uh, talking to your co-workers as well, probably with your boss about this situation, what would you have done? ¿Qué más hubieran hecho para reconstruir su reputación? To build up your reputation. Uh, I think teacher. Okay, David and then Francisco. Okay, I, I think that the, the first the first step is to be clear of what, what, what is the reason about your bad reputation because if you don't know what is causing, you, you can get a, a clear solution of that situation. Okay. And uh, uh, because uh, the the owner or the company maybe doesn't have idea what is happening. They don't know what is happening sometimes. What is the reason that they need to understand the reason the what is the 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 correct reason of the bad reputation to do something about that because uh, there are uh, uh, sometimes misinformation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, uh, are uh, uh, others uh, uh, in, uh, intervention uh, 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 interests on interests particulares. Okay. 
and, and then, then uh, apologize, uh, yeah, the, as you said, apologize and make something that correct the, the situation that uh, bring to that, that, that if, for example, in the USA, what the companies do, the companies pay money to the people that, uh, uh, that uh, have problem with the company for in order to correct the situations. Oh, okay. But it doesn't happen here in El Salvador, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Francisco, let me know about your opinion. Uh, I think that if 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 the case of, of some company, I think that obviously maybe accept their the social responsibility and fix the damage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably, right? Probably. So, if, yes. If, if the personal, uh, the problem uh -huh. maybe accept the responsibility and maybe try to conciliar. I don't know how do you say. Mm -hmm. For example, when when <laughs> when we have a, a accident, the, the ah right like accident a car, uh, accident traffic. A crash. Uh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. With a car, maybe to to accept the the responsibility, and maybe to try to resolve the the problem or mm -hmm. difference mm -hmm. okay. with the other drivers. Okay, interesting. Teacher. Yes, Harvin. Okay, let me jump in on this a little bit. Go. For example, we were talking about in this way that the reputation your reputation good or bad start with another one I start to talking about you or the company mm -hmm. right and it depends the person that it is talking your reputation going to be good or oh, bad wow. it's like they says is uh, missing information when you didn't know what you have a, a bad reputation if for example like the first example that we are talking about the, the hospital rosales and someone of here has a bad, bad idea about the hospital and they have a good idea about the hospital. It depends the way that we are watching the, the situation. Okay. Interesting, right? And I do agree with that. Tell me. Yes, Hennes. Yeah, because sometimes uh, a bad reputation can come from misunderstandings or people saying things behind your backs that are not necessarily true so you have to and sometimes you don't even know that you have a bad reputation and uh i think it's necessary for you to establish uh, first of all the reason why uh, the other people have that uh that opinion about you and and then you can act or do something to to change and you know work uh hard to in order to get rid of that that reputation i know i know so why am i asking about this as you may see as i mentioned before csr how does TSR improve company reputation, right? Whenever we say improve, because it means that its reputation is bad. Como la mejor? Vamos a ver, what is CSR? Aquí está, take a look at this definition. Corporate social responsibility. But what is that? If you go to your book, there you're going to find three different videos. The first one, it's about what is this? What is corporate social responsibility? And after that, we have another short video about the social responsibility of business. And yeah, number three is very similar, right? What is corporate social responsibility? What do we need to do? I guess this is going to be like the last, uh, time that we go and work with uh, with your classmates, right? With different teams. 
I really want you to go take a look at the videos that we have there. Go to page number, page number 22. There you're going to find these videos. Take a look at the information that we have there. And after that, we're going to have like the definition and some ideas about what is this topic about. Si se fijan, que está page number 22. Vámonos. Y ahí ustedes pueden encontrar la información. But a stop right now. Go and take a look at this one. First and the last video. Video number one and three. Ahí está. That's it. Leamos. No, leamos. Not really. Veamos el video y luego volvemos. Okay? That is going to be the last activity. Lo voy a, a poner en nuevas salas. Here we go. Ok, aquí vamos. Page number. I am in two 20, rooms, teacher. Page number 22. Really? David, room, vamos room, a ver. Room, room three. Ok, go to room number three. Ok. I was looking for the book. Okay. Did somebody have it and can share it? Please, please, please. Si no les envío los enlaces. Yes, I am looking for the book because I, I close it. Mm, okay. I lost my connection for one or two minutes about because of the rain. It's mm -hmm. very hard. And I lose all of the document I was opening. No, you had open, okay. okay. I, I, I find. I, uh, what page is it? Tim? It's page, let me see, 22. Go to page number 22. Okay. I am opening now, but it's so slow. The rain is. I know. It's, it's strong. No, it's strong, it's correct. Heavy. Strong. Heavy. 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 Heavy rain. Mm -hmm. Heavy rain. Okay, page 32. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. Like the year. Yes. So, okay. especially concentrate in the first video and the last one, because there you're going to find a definition. What is... CSR. Those videos are about that. Number one and number three. And if you have time, yes, you can go ahead and take a look at the second one. Watch the second one. Okay. But my computer doesn't want to open it. So I don't know, probably Janari in Kenya, they can help you with that. I am, I am trying now. Let me, okay. Mm, it's not working.
question. If not. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. Passion. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. I, I, I lost. You know, all of my computer was closed and I was okay. working with, with Genesis and I, uh -huh. uh, the rain, I lost the connection for two or three seconds, but all of the devices was closed. Okay, but if you don't have your book, let me see. Yes, I, I have the book. You do, you do. I have the book in uh, But it's I the video the is not loading. I have the link, but yes, the video is not loading. It's right. Okay, now. Okay. So uh, it's charging and I sure now. Here it is. And let me share the sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess we're just going to have time for the first one. Creo que solo el primero nos va a quedar tiempo de ver, right? The first one. So I don't know if you're having issues with this. Mm, not really. Angelo, however, had not even aware of those companies, and Parmalati was only responsible for the switchboard. Mm -hmm. You can imagine how the story goes. Corporate fraud at its best. Bogus companies cooking the books, bribery. <laughs> I don't know if you're having issues with those videos. Uh, no, we have the videos right here. Okay, I don't know if one of you can protect what you're watching. Or lo van a ver individual. Is that what you're doing? I mean, we were like doing it like each on its own pace. Yes. Like, uh -huh. If you prefer to work that way, that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, they're a little long though. <laughs> Which are, I guess we're just going to have time to to watch the first one, right? Because of time. Yeah, it's just, just in, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yes. It uh -huh. is. Well, it's almost 11 minutes, though. Almost 11, yes. 11. Okay. So. Are you watching those videos individually? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer? Or can one of you share your screen so we can watch the video together? We are watching the videos individually. Well, I cannot share my screen because I am from myself. From yourself, myself. Don't um, you worry. So keep on doing it that way. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Is how can companies contribute to a good society through good business practices? Oh, that's easy, they say. We'll create a charity foundation or donate a lot of money and thus do good. Wrong. That won't hurt and may even help, but it's not systemic change. The important thing is, CSR is about how companies make profits, not about how they spend them. Corporate social responsibility must not simply be the repair center of capitalism. It has to demand systemic change in a market economy. This requires a new role for the key players in this game. Companies must become not only economic, but also moral actors. What's required and important is a stronger integrative perspective based on a system of deontological values and which is closely related to the company's core business. 
This means social and ecological criteria must be taken into consideration. For example, in the treatment of employees, organization of the production process, offered and produced products and services, and responsible business practices of suppliers, the so-called supply chain. By the way, virtuous managers or the honorable merchant alone will not suffice. We need employees of integrity at all levels of the company, but we also need organizational structures and clear rules. But relying on a code of conduct is also short-sighted, because in extreme cases, it means act according to some given rules, which is the opposite of ethical reflection, namely actual thinking about good and evil, right and wrong. In other words, CSR is always about both individuals and institutional structure. In business ethics, one speaks of individual ethics and institutional ethics. But isn't that unrealistic? Shouldn't the state do more to promote a good and fair society? Granted, it is unrealistic. And that's exactly why such questions are important. Business ethicists don't just ask what the world is like, but also what it should be like, how it ought to be. At the very least, we want to suggest where the journey should lead. At the same time, we want to make practical suggestions about how to embark on that journey. One speaks of questions of justification on the one hand and of implementation on the other, preferably in that order. The state, particularly through politics and law, can contribute to the implementation of corporate responsibility, but only within a limited range. If we look at society from a bird's eye view, we can spot different social systems the economic system, the political system, the justice system, for example. One can speak of the functionally differentiated society we live in. About 60 or 70 years ago, some German economist came up with an idea that led to the development of the social market economy as we know it, particularly in Europe. The thought that a market economy should be embedded in a political framework that determines the rules of the game. This underlying idea is still important, but it has become distinctly more difficult to rely on the state alone. Societal differentiation has progressed because most systems have internationalized. Globalization is the magic word that applies to most systems, but not all of them. Politics, and particularly law, tend to be bound to one country's borders, while the economy, above all, is highly internationalized and globalized. This makes effective regulation difficult. Thus, it is now not only about the classic rules of the game, but also about the moves of the players, the corporations, in a changed and changing world. And beyond politics and law, civil society, in particular NGOs, have gained a strong influence on the economy, as both vicious watchdogs and as partners of business. In the society of the 21st century, we find new, rather odd, hybrid constructs under the notion of soft laws. These are collective individual commitments to comply with certain social and ecological standards, such as collective industry agreements or the UN Global Compact. So companies are supposed to operate responsibly. Is anything really happening? There is no clear answer to that question. The cynics say that CSR is like teenage sex. Everybody says they are doing it, but few actually are. And those who really do it, do it rather badly. The truth is more nuanced, of course. In the area of corporate responsibility, there is also the good, the bad, and the really ugly. More and more companies deal with CSR and take the first steps towards responsible business practices. We can definitely observe a distinct effort, even though it is still a delicate little plant. And of course, there are still those who misconstrue CSR as a PR instrument and simply want to greenwash or bluewash their company. And unfortunately, there are still companies that don't give a damn about questions of corporate responsibility and which even trample on justice. Got all that? Let's sum it up. First, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Second, CSR is based on the question of good business for a good society, today and tomorrow. Third, Corporate Social Responsibility is not charity. It is about how companies earn their pro Almost forgot.
Besides corporate responsibility, there is also consumer responsibility. You can practice that the next time you go shopping. And there may be more from us on that topic. But the responsibility in a good shopping, mm. <laughs> not include all the women <laughs> because um, all women. No shopping with responsibility. Corporate social responsibility, CSR, and green business are key topics of discussion in government and around the board tables of big business. But what do they mean? And are they relevant to small businesses? Concern about the social and environmental impact of businesses is increasing. We're all being urged to use less energy, to reuse and to recycle, and to go green. We're urged to think about the well-being of our employees and to take care how we choose our suppliers. We're asked about how involved we are in our local community and what we're doing to give something back. And at the same time, we're trying to grow our business and make a profit. It doesn't have to be daunting. Ultimately, CSI is about running your business in a responsible, professional and sustainable way. It's about developing and maintaining good relationships with everyone you deal with. Employees, customers, suppliers, investors, funders and the community in which you operate. The benefits are wide ranging and it can have a very positive impact on your profile and profitability. CSR involves four key areas that describe the scope of a business's responsibilities. These are economic, ethical, legal and discretionary. All four areas apply to all businesses and some issues within each of the areas, such as being a good employer, are important to all businesses, regardless of size or type of business. Other issues may be specific to certain types of business and only apply in those cases. For example, particular legislation may only affect a certain sector. CSR is about embedding key principles and practices into your business. And there's no better time to do this than when you're starting the business. Small businesses, by their very nature, are flexible, creative and innovative. Restricted budgets and limited resources mean that they are always looking for new and different ways to achieve more less. Positive CSR action is always likely to bring benefits and small businesses often see those benefits and the impact of their actions in this area much faster than larger organisations. is Germany. <laughs> this area much faster than larger organizations. Okay. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about CSR. What is CSR, you ask? Well, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Big words, huh? Don't worry, I'll break it down for you. Corporate means businesses or large companies. Social means people plus environment, and responsibility means things that you have to do plus playing your part. For example, in school, it's your responsibility to finish your work on time. CSR is a management concept where companies combine social and environmental concerns in their business. It is generally understood as being the way through which a company achieves a balance of environment, economy, and social factors.
When companies are trying to be corporately and socially responsible, they are aiming to achieve the triple bottom line. The triple bottom line includes environmental, which is not harming the environment and picking up trash, and social, which is giving back to the community or charity, and financial, which the amount of money you are making should increase, and you should be able to provide for your family, which is three meals a day. These three divisions are also called the three Ps, which is planet, profit, and people. You must be thinking, but why is CSR so important? Well, the purpose of CSR is to identify and improve a company's impact on the society and environment while collecting stronger business results such as brand enhancement, which means to increase the popularity of the company, market differentiation, which means being different from other companies, and employee satisfaction, that means to have a good relationship with workers. The most successful ways of engaging in CSR includes providing better living conditions with clean water in villages, education for poor children, saving forests and reforestation, and providing health services. To give you a bigger picture on CSR, here are some advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages are, CSR can help the reputation of a company reduce their risks and help improve their business methods. It can teach workers to respect customers, the society and the environment. CSR can also help attract customers towards the company. This leads to more profit of the community. It can also help create deeper relationships with customers. However, mismanagement of CSR can lead to companies claiming to be helping the environment and community but could be lying and not actually doing what they claim to be doing. There is no way to guarantee that a company is following its CSR policy. Costs of CSR are not fair for smaller businesses as they cannot always afford to take action to help their community. Here are some good and bad examples of companies. Companies who do greenwashing are misusing the concept of CSR. Greenwashing is when a company or organization spends more time and money claiming to be green through advertising and marketing than actually applying business practices that minimizes environmental impact. One of the best examples of CSR is Walt Disney. Walt Disney focuses on living healthier, strengthening communities, conserving nature, and thinking creatively. This falls perfectly into the triple bottom line as it includes environmental, social, and financial factors. Well, now you must be thinking, but is CSR really necessary? One of the greatest benefits of promoting social responsibility in the company is the positive environment you build for your workers. When employees and management feel that they are working for a company that has true principles, they will likely be more enthusiastic and engaged in their jobs. Using CSR can help companies engage with customers in new ways. People prefer companies with a high CSR and buy their products. They would prefer to buy products from a company with a high CSR than a company with a low CSR. This leads to more profit for the company. I hope this little video helped you get a much better understanding about CSR. Okay. Did you have time to watch the the videos? One video, two videos, or how many did you watch? We watched three, two of the book and another one that the, from the uh -huh. the platform of YouTube that is I think the last one was the, the, the most like a, clear. Like a recommendation, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for sure, uh, I cannot say that now you know about CSR, now, right? Probably you may have like an idea about what this means and some examples, right? But no, this is just the beginning. Uh, we really need to uh, take a look at the resources that 
in Safor is offering us. That's why we had to, you know, watch those three videos. But for sure, we are going to have like a definition and some clear examples in tomorrow's class. So probably now you have like an idea about what this topic is about. Porque si lo vimos, hay muchas compañías in El Salvador, many, many places que lo practican. And CSR is very common, you know? But let me see what time is it. No, no. So, no queda tiempo para la definición. Yes, we're going to have like a definition and some examples tomorrow at the beginning of the class because look, I had this definition and some example about CSR. CSR is a self-regulating business model. Ahí está la clave, es un modelo, right? That helps a company be socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders and the public. Ahí está. Hay muchos ejemplos de CSR in El Salvador and even in those big company. Vamos a chequear la asistencia de clase. And the same, right? Please try to have your cameras on and say here or present. Necesita quedar grabado eso de que sí están presentes y que son ustedes quienes dicen present or here. Y no yo poniéndoles asistencia. Okay, here we go. So, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. Okay. Present. Muy bien. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Génesis. Present. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Yasmin. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamiret González, Molina González. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Ok, ahí estamos. So, Yanari, you are going to stay in today's class, right? So, can you? Can you stay? Cas, you are the last one, I guess. Creo que nadie más falta, ¿verdad? Janari es la que me queda pendiente. So just let me know. If not, after we're coming, or tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow we can have that small session. Si no clase, vamos a parar la clase aquí. Y vamos a continuar. We're going to continue with this topic, right? This is just the introduction about the CSR. It's a very complex, but not difficult topic, you know? We have so many great examples that we're going to be covering, definitions, and uh, this is just part of the work that we're going to have tomorrow, okay? So we're going to stop the class here, just right on time, and I really hope you to have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night to you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night to you.